Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at the View Projects page. You can uh, view your projects, uh, just click this link right from the menu. Uh, when you uh, load up the page, you'll see something that looks like this. It'll basically give you a rundown of your projects. It'll tell you how many have been uh, submitted, the days that they've been running. Um, right now all my projects are closed, but if they were open it would, it would say pending there. Tells you the start date, project name, etc. So from this page, you can do a bunch of things. Um, if uh, there's any failed submissions, you can retry the failed submissions. Just give a new name to the project, select the number of days you want to retry the failed submissions and a start time, and then just save the project or create another project just from the submissions that had failed. Um, you can delete the project. You can uh, delete all the dead accounts that were associated with the project. So if you don't have the auto delete uh, dead account um, feature checked, this way you can manage it a bit yourself and just delete the dead accounts um, from each project. You can edit the project name. You can download all the successful links that were created for the project. It'll give you a text file um, with all the links. Uh, you could download the homepage URLs of all the accounts that were in that project. So that's a cool feature because you could download the links and download the homepage URLs. Then if you have some other software or something you want to put it, you can not only build the links to, you can not only build extra links to the links you've created, but also to the homepage of, the, of these blogs, which is a great way to really increase the power and strength of these properties. You can duplicate the project. Um, that's similar to the retry fail. Just click duplicate and uh, it'll show up with uh, asking you to enter a project name, name the project, save it, and then you'll have a new project running that's uh, basically exactly the same as the old one. And if a project is still, um, oh, if a project is still pending, you'll have an option to edit some of the settings. Can't edit all the settings of a project, but a bunch of them you can edit, and that would be in between these two, but right now I have no projects running. Um, and then you could check out the project settings that were associated with the project, just uh, some of the things that you used, uh, some of the options you set when setting up the project. So that's basically what you can view from this page. We do have a bulk option where you could uh, download selected links from multiple projects. So if I wanted to download the links from all of these projects, just select them all and then click download links. You could also bulk delete the project. Now, um, so this is just basically giving you an overview of your projects. If you want to go in and really see what's going on with your projects, just click on the project. Um, and then I'll take you to this next screen, which shows you the individual submissions for the project. It'll give you the account, uh, the homepage of the site that it's submitting to, what article was associated with it. I was using auto-generated content for the iPhone 5, so it just says auto-generated content. Uh, and then it'll give you the submission date and also the link of the successful submission. So if you just click on the link, It'll take you right to the site and show you the su successful submissions and the article and whatnot. Um, if you want to view uh, the sites that failed, uh, right, the default is to just show successful posts. You can show all if you want, and you can flip through the different pages of the project and see all of your submissions. So it's pretty straightforward and this is where you can just go in and really quickly take a, a glance over all of your submissions and check out the links and whatnot. Um, so that's basically all there is to the uh, project statistics. Oh, uh, one last thing, I'll probably go over more in the create the project video. Uh, since I don't have any open projects right now, there's a few options that'll be here before a site is submitted. Like you can preview an article, delete an article. Um, I'll show you more of that in the videos where I show you how to create a project. But this should give you a good overview of um, how to view your successful and non-successful links and whatnot. Uh, this is all done with the view projects uh, area of the site. So I'll see you guys in the next video.